Okay, so now what I want to add to the model is a step, a, set, a step set here, and what I want to do is uh, I want to first create a uh, margin on the other side like this. I want to make it bigger, and let's press OK. Let, let's select this. Let's make it 12, should be enough, perfect. So that the stop set will go from this line, will run across the margin to this line. So I'm going to create two things. First, I'm going to create a chain that starts from here, runs across here, and ends here. Then I'm asked if I want to have the start and the end. I don't want to. Here I see I have now my constraint chain and if I move this around the chain will adapt. And I want to create on top of this a stab set. Now these are too much. So this is I have a couple of options here. I want to create a number of steps. In this case I want to create five step, two millimeters diameter, it's fine. I can add distance from the end or from the beginning, not interested in that, and I can add also an, uh, an offset to the step, but I'm not also interested in that. So I have my steps, press OK, and I have here my five white steps. As always, here in the pattern properties, I can tweak. Now I want to have them six instead of five, I have six steps instead of five. But there's a quicker way of doing this, so if I select these two, delete them, I can cascade my tab button, and here I have create a constraint steps, and I select, do exactly the same thing, but in a quicker way. Put six steps, then it's okay. And I have a constraint chain that is built, and then on top of that I have my steps. So now I can I can easily add them to my model so that I can then have, have my my shoelacing going through this and then I want to have them a little bit more distance from here and I can control them of course with these two lines moving just moving them around.